Now it's time to paint. I've scraped off popcorn ceiling off of my garage ceiling. I've retaped all the joints. I textured the ceiling, sanded it, did a light sanding, and I wiped it down. So now I'm going to start putting a coat of primer on. And so what I'm using is, guess what? Glidden's PVA drywall paint. And I'm using a, uh, a 3 8 inch nap for a roller. And I'm going to roll it on, obviously. So let's get going. We're putting it on. New drywall. It's a lot easier to see where I painted. Alrighty. I had skip I had skin coated a few areas before and that white on white kind of makes it difficult to see where I put some on. And I tried using an extension pool, but I just found it was easier to stand on my platform and use the roller. I've done my share of painting over the years, but I think this is the first time I've done a ceiling. It's a whole different animal. Not bad, but it's different. Well, they're right about this drying fast, though. Where I've already done, closer to the garage door, it's dry. But note to self, try to do this in the winter time. It's a lot cooler. Well, I have half the garage prime now. So it's looking real good. This is dried overnight, although it didn't need that. It's a sealer. This Glidden PVA drywall sealer. And so you can see the difference here. It sealed the drywall. And it comes through. But it's sealed. But, and then over here, I did some skip, some skip trowel. And so there was more joint compound here. So the, the drywall part doesn't come through as much, but it's all sealed and it looks real good for the primer. Now here's something I found interesting. This side is primed with the Glidden PVA drywall sealer. This side I haven't primed it at all with anything. But here, when I was cutting in, I used the Glidden Gripper, which is another sealer. And that one's a lot thicker, and I had that left over from another project, so I used that to cut in. But notice this, this shining part right here was I, I cut in under, while on top of my railing here for the garage door opener. And notice it covered almost what, like paint would cover, and it's shiny. You can see the difference in the PVA sealer and the gripper sealer. It's thick, it's shiny. So what I'll do is I'll show a comparison between the two on a piece of material and all that and let you see that. Probably in another video so we can close this one up. So let's go on and paint the other half. And did you know, you can wrap up your paint roller or paint brushes in some sort of plastic wrap. I use saran wrap here to keep it fresh for the next day. So I painted half the garage ceiling yesterday and I needed to go to an appointment in the afternoon. So you just wrap it up. 
And then if you can find the end, take off the saran wrap, plastic wrap, probably put it in a Ziploc bag too would work. You know what would be a clever idea if these companies that make this plastic wrap when you rip it off, if somehow it could put a, a blue streak on it. And then you know where the end is. So there it is. Fresh for another day. Scope paint day two. Well, I finished the primer coat on the ceiling. And here you can see where I used the Glidden PVA drywall primer as opposed to the gripper where it's shinier. So we'll start putting on the top coat now. And for the top coat on my ceiling, I'll be using this Bear Pro I300 dead flat white. So let's see how that looks. Well, I'm putting on the top coat and there's quite a bit of difference between the top coat and the white primer coat. As you can see where I put it on already. So, there is a nice difference. It'll turn out nice. Alright, coming down to the last few feet of the garage ceiling. This white on white is really a, a pain to try to keep track of what you've done. But we're getting there. probably end up overlapping a lot more than needed but it dries so quick done 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 a little trim work left but I'm done and I'll just finish off the ceiling with a little cock where the ceiling meets the uh, wall board here. It's a skip trowel finish, but very slight skip trowel. Of course, you can put it on as thick or as heavy or light as you want. I went pretty light. And as a wrap here, some final thoughts. I started out with this Glidden PVA drywall sealer. And that worked out pretty good, except I ran out. I have a 400 square foot garage, and this got me about, I'd say 300, 325 square feet. So then I switched over to the gripper, Glidden's gripper. This was an all purpose primer. And what I wanted was, I figured I'd use this for other projects down the road. So I didn't want to just get a, uh, a drywall sealer. So I ended up with this. And then as a top coat, I used the Bear I300 flat top coat. Took only one coat. This took just about all of two cans to cover 400, 400 square feet. And it looks like it just needed one coat after I, I sealed it with the primer. This didn't seem to splatter as much. I got a lot of splatter with this I-300. Now I'm probably 
depends on how you're putting it on or how thick and all that. But I got some of that. No big deal, but I did. And I didn't notice any real difference between when I put the top coat on over the PVA drywall sealer or the gripper. Made both went on just fine. And the end result seemed to be not noticeable either. So there's my final thoughts. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on my next project.